how are you today? Today I'm gonna to be doing a review and tutorial on this look right here. So what I'm gonna be reviewing is the It's My Pleasure palette from ColourPop and the ColourPop BFF Volumizing Mascara. But if you guys wanna see just eye swatches on the palette, where I'm going through and showing you guys each color individually on the lid, I am gonna show you guys that, or I do have a video on that. So I'm gonna link that up in the eye and in the description box below if you guys wanna see just the swatches. But today we're gonna to be doing just the look and giving you guys my thoughts. So if you guys are excited for that, then please give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get to it. Okay guys, the first thing we're gonna do is take the shade Pretty Cruel and we're gonna place that all over the crease. It looks like it has glitter chunks in it in the pan, but when you kind of blend it onto the crease, it actually turns out okay. You can't see the glitter in it, so I like that about it. But we're gonna blend that all over the crease. It's a really nice, very pigmented color, so I love this color. Next, I'm actually gonna take the shade Chiclet, and I'm gonna place that in the crease as well. I know some people are a little nervous about applying shimmers to the crease, but don't be nervous, because again, you can kind of blend it out. And I just feel like adding this underneath the other shadows that we're gonna apply just kind of makes those colors pop and look a little bit more purple and less pink. Now I'm taking the shade Earth Shine on the inner half of the lid, and I'm just gonna use my finger to place that all over uh, the inner part <laughs> of the lid, like I said. And this one is really nice and glittery, and it's got a nice duochrome finish to it, which I really like. Now we're gonna take the shade Do or Doe, and we're, again, I'm just gonna take that on my finger, and I'm gonna put that on the outer half of the lid, blending it in the, like in the middle area, I'm gonna blend it with the other shade that we placed on the lid. Now I'm just gonna take the same fluffy brush that we used earlier, and I'm just gonna kind of blend the edges of all those shadows to make sure that everything is smooth, seamless, no harsh lines or anything like that. Now we can move on to the lower lash line, and I'm gonna start with the shade Chiclet, just on that small brush that we used before, and I'm just gonna place that all over the lower lash line. Again, I want it to look more purple than pink, so that's why I'm adding that shade first. And then I'm gonna go in with a shade Pretty Cruel, which is that matte shade that we used in the crease earlier. And I'm just gonna blend the shadow with that color. Okay, so this is what the look looks like right now. I'm gonna try to find my mascara real quick and because I think I left it on my purse upstairs. <laughs> so I'm gonna be right back to show you guys what it looks like. Now, what really excited me about this mascara was the fact that it has a very, very thick wand. Let me show you guys. This actually reminds me of the wand on the Better Than Sex mascara, which I love. <laughs> so I had a feeling I was going to really like this one. It looks like it's going to be really nice and volumizing. Now, while I have tried the palette, the eyeshadow palette, a few times, this is actually my first time trying the mascara. So the mascara will be first, Im first impression style, but the palette I actually have tried many times already. Okay, so there we have one coat of the mascara on this eye. I am gonna go ahead and do the other eye and then I'll apply a second coat on this eye. I'm gonna go in with my second coat now. Oh, and it feels like it does dry pretty quickly because my lashes do already feel a little bit crunchy, adding the second layer. And all I did was go and apply this layer and that was it. So it does feel like a pretty, like a quick drying formula if you guys like that. Okay, so there we have it with two coats on both uh, both sets of lashes. Does that make sense? Both sides. I'm going to go ahead and apply some to the bottom lashes now. Okay, so there we have it on the lower lash line as well. Um, on the lower lash line, I do feel like it got a little bit clumpy. And it's not super intense like I like my lower lash line. Like it's not, the lashes aren't really popping. Um... Yeah, I don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my brows real quick. Apply my brows, fill in my brows, and I'll be right back to give you guys my final thoughts. Okay guys, so here you have the finished look. Now what I did was I finished off the look with my Pixie by Petra Matte Mulberry Eyeliner. This is my favorite eyeliner. And then I also finished it off with my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. Both two products that you guys hear about in pretty much every single video that I do. I love those products. But let's go ahead and talk about the palette. I think what I wanna do is show you guys kind of pros and cons on the palette. Sorry, that's where I was kind of putting some black shadow on the lash line too. I forgot to say that. I did put black shadow on the lash line and that's what that is right there. Some pros for this palette would definitely be the pigmentation of the palette. I find pretty much every single one of these shadows to be extremely, extremely pigmented and I love that about this palette. This is actually my first ColourPop palette so I was really impressed with that. Hold on, my lashes are sticking. <laughs> And then the matte shades in here, you guys, are amazing. I love, again, the pigmentation that you get with it, with the mattes too, but I love the way they blend. I feel like they blend so easily on the lid that it really just almost 
does the work for you. Like it's really no work at all to blend these shadows. And I love that about this palette. My cons with the palette would definitely be kind of like the color scheme as a whole. I find these shadows to be more pink in tone than purple. So when I'm putting them on my eyes, actually a lot of them tend to look pink and not purple. Basically you have this one right here that looks purple and that's the only one. And I actually find that this one is extremely, extremely patchy. So the other ones are very smooth, very easy to work with. This shade here is super patchy and I'm sure it's just kind of like the color of the shadow. I have a swatch here that I kind of blended out already, but this is gonna be another one of my cons that when I try to blend this shadow, it turns more into a satin. You don't get that really nice, intense, shimmer, metallic type finish with it like I was kind of hoping to get. So that's kind of a con too. But let me, show, I'll just go ahead and show you guys quickly how kind of patchy this is. Do you guys see that? So I have to like really kind of work at blending it. I can't just really like pack it on the lid because then it's just gonna be way too patchy. So definitely a con with this one. I find that I have to add this shade underneath like you guys saw in my tutorial today if I want the shades to pull purple like what you're seeing on my lid today. But if it wasn't for that shade, every single one of these would look pink on me anyway. I don't know if that's how it is for everyone else. So if you guys like the color scheme in here, I do recommend the palette for the quality. Let's go ahead and talk about the mascara real quick. So the mascara, I actually find to be super, super similar to the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. So not only is the applicator pretty much the same, like it's got that same kind of like curved effect to it. It's got the same type of bristles. It's got the same size, everything in the actual wand is the same. The Better Than Sex is a little bit of a drier formula and so is this one. And then the actual finished look that I get to my lashes, I actually find to be pretty much exact to the Better Than Sex mascara. So if someone were to ask me, is this a dupe? I would say, yeah, probably. <laughs> it's pretty close and it's only $8. Now the one thing that does bother me about this mascara is that it's not quite as intense black as I would like for it to be. So something like my favorite mascara, my Miss You A Big from Lancome is super, super black. So when I put it on my lashes, you're gonna see it from the base of my lashes to the tip of my lashes, it's gonna be really, really intense. Where the ColourPop one, I don't find to be super intense. And yeah, it's a lot cheaper than my Lancome one, but even my L'Oreal Voluminous, if you get it in like the really intense black shade, is gonna be a lot darker than this. So if they come out with a darker shade of this, absolutely, I would repurchase this. I do like the final look of the lashes. I think it looks really nice. It's one that definitely is just gonna give a lot of volume. So if you like volume, then you would like this mascara. <laughs> if you want just length, this isn't really gonna be that mascara for you. So those are kind of my final thoughts. Does it help? I don't know, because both products to me are just kind of like, eh, okay, if I lost both of these products today, I wouldn't jump out and repurchase them, but I don't hate them. I still do think that they're good products. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. Are you guys gonna pick any of this up? Let me know, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.